Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss report writing, which is question two of the ISC English Language Paper 1. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what the format of a report is and how you should approach uh, report writing. So let's get to the PowerPoint that I made for this. We'll start immediately. So report writing. Now, report writing is what you are asked to do you're asked to write a report in question two of the paper and you have question number 2a you have a report that you need to write and 2b you need to write a proposal so in my next video i'll tell you the format of a proposal and what you need to keep in mind all right so so what is a report basically a report is a written account when you report something you probably have seen something you you know something and you have to report it you know to your teacher or to your senior or uh, you've seen something happening and you have to report it to the police station you know report it to the police officer so it's a written account a report is a written account of things that you've observed things that you've seen heard right um and it's also a presentation of facts and findings of an event or a reading you've read a book and you have to prepare a book report for example or a research you have to prepare a report so these are all reports all right so it's a written account of things that you've observed so as simple as that now in your isc paper you could be asked to write a report for a magazine like for your school magazine or for a newspaper all right a newspaper report and for both these reports, the format is basically the same with a few differences here and there, but the format is the same. Now, you remember my high five, right? So even in a report, we wanna see those five paragraphs, okay? So you begin with a headline for a newspaper report or just a normal heading if it's a magazine report so it's just that the headline is the sound bite let's say okay which summarizes in a very few words the main content of your report that's the headline or the heading of your magazine report the byline is of course your name all right you don't need to give any your personal details or your real name but it's just the name of the reporter all right then number two just the opening paragraph or the introduction so you mention who what the where or the when i would recommend that you keep the how how and the why for the later paragraphs then for paragraph three and four you give the details remember to give the most important details first all right so the how and why the most important hows and whys you mention in paragraph three in paragraph four you give more details other relevant information all right but information that could be helpful but it's not really important but please do give the most important information first and the other relevant information later on and things that are not relevant or they're not very important you mention them right at the end just in the last sentence of the fourth paragraph then the fifth paragraph is your conclusion in this paragraph you're just going to summarize the facts and opinions all right so please remember that uh, there are things to remember that when you report something please do not use personal pronouns so please do not say i saw i heard no if you say i heard sound no make it passive a sound was heard by the neighbors or by the officer on duty so please do not mention personal pronouns in a report that is the rule use passive instead of active um language that is don't mention i did no it was done so use passive now let's have a look at the question given in the isc specimen paper 2019 as a reporter you have visited a number of hospitals in your city write a newspaper report aha uh -huh, there it is not a magazine report a newspaper report in not more than 300 words so you are given a word range here 300 words entitled city hospitals so you've been given the heading sorry the headline you've already been given city hospitals based on the following points if you want to add a word or two to city hospitals right you could but see the points yeah this is really easy because the isc 
uh, people, they give you the points for your report. You don't even need to brainstorm these ideas. Well, one thing is important, please remember that you mention each and every point in your report. So again, use a highlighter or a pen or a pencil to tick off the points that you have mentioned in your report. So this is really easy. You've been given the headline already. The byline shouldn't be a problem, the name of the reporter. And then you begin with the introduction, introductory paragraph, the who, the what, the where, the when, all right, or the most important things. And then you have your three paragraphs. You have these points, buildings and infrastructure, maintenance of hospitals, quality of services, doctors, nursing staff, waiting period for treatment, emergency facilities, other facilities available, medical equipment, and overall opinion. The overall opinion, I told you, the facts and opinion summarized, that's the conclusion. And you have all these points, which you can just organize into three neat paragraphs. So in all, you need to have five paragraphs, the high five, all right? So you have the points, it couldn't get easier. It really couldn't get easier because you've been given the points by the ISC people. So all you need to do is elaborate on these points and organize them into logical, structured paragraphs. Don't forget your linking words. Use them um, to write your report and avoid personal pronouns. No I's and we and us. Please do not use any personal pronouns. Please write this report. And I'm really curious to see how you um, write your reports. Please send it to me via email. If you want feedback, I'll be writing my own report and bring it up as soon as possible. Yeah, as a link. So take care and all the best.